Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the SH Figure Arts Uruchi Maruchi Seeker of the Immortality from Naruti. Not Chip who didn't, just, just Naruti, I guess. I know nothing about this character, which is surprising because he is one of my favorites. In fact, Naruti is my favorite anime, so that's why I wanted to review this guy. No, realistically speaking, you guys asked for it. I don't collect Naruti stuff, really, so I contacted my Big Bad Toy Store contact, and I said, can I review this, please? And they said, sure, here you go, and they sent me a review sample, so here it is. I'm under no obligation to say anything nice about it, but the Naruti line from SH Figure Arts has been just doing really well. They've been making a lot of good figures, and you guys kept asking for me to review it, so here it is. All right, let's go ahead and get this guy, girl, off the stand, I don't know what it is, and take a closer look. Okay, so let's take a quick look at my package before we look at the figure, and I have to say, it's a really nice package. I love the styling stylization of the uh, image there, of the action figure. Uh, it's not... Yeah, it is. It looks like an actual photo that's photoshopped over, so that's cool. But yeah, nice big window. It's still not as good as the One Piece packaging, but the figures are blowing the One Piece figures out of the water, so that's very good. And you might be saying to yourself, if you don't know much about Naruti or the character, how can you give it a good review? Well, it's easy. I'm not reviewing the show or the character. I'm reviewing the action figure. So the only thing I might be lacking is accuracy in terms of the aesthetic, but you can see that for yourself. And I can still show you if it's painted well and sculpted well. So, let's do that. This guy stands just about six, let's call it six and an eighth inches, give or take. That's going to make him roughly about 15.75 centimeters. Here he is up against a Marvel Legends Darwin. You could definitely fudge those into the same line if you wanted to, or into the same display. Okay, question of the day. Do you guys like this character, or do you not like this character? I got a lot, a lot. This might be the most requested review I've ever had. Uh, so apparently people like this guy, or maybe they hate this guy, girl? I, again, I don't know. I think it's a guy. Anyway. Uh, could be a girl. Anyway, um, I, I don't know. It seems like an interesting character design. He's very snake-like, and so maybe people like it. I don't know. Let's dive into the aesthetic. Shading could be better. I don't like how heavy it is right here and then seemingly non-existent everywhere else. I thought there were some up here, but I don't think there actually is now. So his finish isn't great. Too much here, not enough everywhere else. He's a bit plasticky in places. His ankle wraps are very shiny and that seems to me like they should be not shiny. There's not a whole lot going on here otherwise, unfortunately paint-wise, so he doesn't look great in the paint department. We'll start off with that. This is just his shoulder cap not being where it's supposed to be. Uh-oh, his arm fell off. Hopefully that's not an issue. We'll see as we get into the articulation. He has an accessory for interchangeable arms, so don't worry about that too much, hopefully. So that's annoying. It looks like you're gonna be able to get that to line up properly on this side, but it's a pain in the butt, so I'm not gonna bother trying right now, but that's a thing. All right. Uh, the knot on his back, very nicely done, nicely sculpted, looks good, and that's about it. There's not a whole lot to talk about. His toes are painted well enough because everyone in Naruti has to show their toes. I hate it. Uh, but let's also talk about the faces. It's kind of hard to see while it's on the figure, but, and you'll see the other accessory faces in a minute. They nailed the faces. They are so well done. One in particular, like I said, I'll show you in a minute. They look great. So, yeah, he's not the best looking probably in terms of the general aesthetic, but there are some really bright spots with the, the knot on the back, the faces. It, it's good enough. It's, it's going to get a six for me for the aesthetic just because there's not a lot going on here that doesn't look like plastic. It's a little bit too shiny for me in a lot of places. And then the shading is iffy, but it's not bad. The whole thing's not bad overall, okay? All right, now for accessories. Uh, you do get the neutral face that comes on him in the package. Then you get two faces, different expressions with his mouth slightly open. Then you get the tongue sticking out face. All of them are done just so well, especially the tongue one, very, very nicely executed. I love that. You get an alternate head for Suki Suki, and that looks like uh, when he is, I don't know, becoming a snake man, probably, if I had to guess. So you get that. Uh, you get some folded arms. That's a nice accessory. I will add a note in there if it swaps out easily or not. Um, oh, that's a problem. Well, maybe not. Let's see. I want to see something here. 
Yeah, okay. So the shoulder, or the crossed arm accessory swaps out at the shoulder, which makes sense, I guess. But then this accessory, which is his snake arm attack thing, which is done surprisingly well, actually. The faces look really nice on the snakes. Uh, that's why this arm popped off too easily, I assume. I'm guessing he can do it out of both arms. I'm hoping the photos only have it on the other arm. So let's see, it definitely snaps in there, but the photo only has it on his right side. So let's see. Yeah, I guess they just, they're not the tightest of, uh-oh, they're not just the tightest of joints. Is it actually gonna be a problem though? It feels like it might be a little bit too loose, which is always a risk when you have an interchangeable part. So is it worth it? Probably if you like the snake arms, which I'm guessing you do if you like this character, just be aware these arms do pop off probably too easily. I would say definitely too easily. They're not just gonna fall off and at least there's a reason for it. It's not like that first release of trunks, but it's, it definitely could be better, but the snake arm is pretty cool at least, so that's good. And then for hands, you just get a whole bunch of hands, like tons and tons of hands. So that's that's pretty nice. Okay, so good accessories overall. I would give this guy, and he doesn't have any effect parts other than the snake. Does he need one? No clue. I'm gonna still go nine. That's a pretty good spread of accessories. All right, let's talk about the articulation. His hair, it's done pretty well. It actually looks good when it's back, or when it's, yeah, going back or just hanging down. They did a pretty good job with that. And now the head can move okay. It does want to separate the front hair piece though. So be aware of that. It likes to pop off when you lean him forward. See how it's starting to split right there. But you can move his head around pretty well and the knot back here moves. So his hair shouldn't get in the way too much. He's not going to be the most articulated of the figures but uh, he'll do okay so far. Let's see, for the shoulder joint. Well, I see how that works. Okay, so not bad. It looks like it's that ball socket. Yeah, there's a ball down here for the butterfly joint, but that lets his arm do a lot of work. You can get that butterfly joint really moving, and then you get a ball hinge up here at the shoulder. So yeah, he's gonna be able to pose pretty well, maybe just not at the neck. So I'll take that, that's not bad. This part will rotate up here. And of course, you already saw there's a ball peg holding this in, so it'll rotate there. Plenty of bicep swivel. Double jointed elbow works nicely, looks good. Wrists are little ball hinges, that's fine. Torso joint, of course, we're gonna have some limitation with the hair and the knot back here, but let's see. Yeah, it's a couple of different balls and floating pieces and whatnot, but it moves around nicely. I'm pleased with that, I like it. All right, that's good, this is nice and soft. So bringing the leg out to the side, Obviously no issue there, full on splits. Bringing the leg forward and back, can't go back. They put the butt cheeks on there, stop it. Bandai, stop putting butt cheeks on there. You can't bring the legs back, don't like it. But they do kick forward nicely. And then you do get a ball peg here for the uh, thigh swivel, so that'll help with posing. And of course you do get your swivel. But if you don't want it to have those flaps right there, you have to do that and that keeps him from bring, being able to bring his legs together. So be aware of that. But otherwise, decent enough range. I'll take it. Double jointed knees, not bad at all. Good range, good enough look. I'll take that too. That's all right. You do get rotation at the shin. And I'm guessing it's a ball peg, yeah. Ooh, double ball peg for the ankle, just like Uchi Kuchi. And uh, you can get the ankle going all the way back. And let's see. Not that far forward, but far enough. Ankle rocker is going to be really nice, and the toe hinge is solid. So, yeah, he actually end, ended up being pretty decent. Not the best they've done, I think, but he's up there. He's pretty good. It's just the neck is a little bit limited. But I think he's solid. I'm going to give his articulation an 8. I think you're going to be able to pose him surprisingly well. Maybe just not the head, but that's because of the hair, and there's nothing they can really do about that. It could be softer, I guess, but it's okay. I'm going to give him an overall rating of only 7.5. So yeah, this figure turned out pretty nice. I think you guys are gonna like it. I hope you're happy that I reviewed it. And hopefully you wanted me to review it because you wanted to like it and not to hate it. I have no idea about the character. But it is another solid addition to the Naruti line of figures from Bandai. So 
thanks to BBTS for sending this. There's a link in the description below if you guys want to check them out. And thanks to you guys for requesting it and hopefully you liked the review. So thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you haven't subscribed, you should. I normally have new videos every day, but Wednesday, I'll get back to that soon. And I do have thousands of videos already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.